page three in your packet, and we're going to talk about the staff high and low. Musical sounds, low or high, are shown by the position of notes on the staff. Notes that are higher on the staff have a higher sound or pitch than those that are lower on the staff. So this first note, la, is higher than the second note, la. So you have a difference. Now here the first note sounds lower than the second note, la, la. You can hear it and you can see it. So now we're going to draw some notes on the lines or spaces of the staff. Again, use your toothpick as a tool if you're having trouble counting. I'm going to go fast. You can always stop and look at this. Line one, two, three. We're going to keep using those whole notes so you can see. Line four, one, two, three, four. Always counting those lines from the bottom up. The first space, kind of easy to see. As you practice more and more, you'll be able to just tell, oh, line five is on the top. And you'll know line two, you can kind of eyeball, you You can always, always count, but you'll always be able to see it as well. And then line one. Use an arrow to indicate whether the second note of each measure sounds higher or lower than the first note. So we wanna know, is this note higher or lower? Now, great tip, use that toothpick to kind of give you the indication, ah, it's moving up. Then here, it's moving down. Sometimes you can see it, but then when they get really close, you can use this and you can see that it is moving down. Here, this one's kind of easy to see, that's moving up. But sometimes when they get really close, it's harder to see it and harder to figure out. So right here, a larger jump, a lot of the times it's uh, easier to see that. But when they get really close, sometimes you have to give, use whatever tools you have and see that that is going, that is going that way. When they're really close, sometimes it's hard to tell what that is. And then a larger jump, and a larger jump. If you watched an earlier version of this video, I actually made a mistake on our final information down here, but I'm gonna do it right this time. Sorry, I was not fully in the scope, so there's the answers for that. We're gonna use the letter H and L, high, higher, and lower, to indicate whether the first note of each measure sounds higher or lower than the second note. So is the first note higher or lower? So you can see this one is higher. Is this higher or lower? This is lower. Is this one higher or lower? Sometimes, again, you might have to. So this one is higher. Always do the first note. This one, lower. Is the first one higher or lower? Mm, little tricky. Let's see. Ah, uh, the first one is higher. And this last one, again, is the first one. The first one is lower. There's page three.